Hi guys, I am so excited for today's eyeshadow tutorial. I'm going to be playing with the new 2D Fruity collection from Cara Beauty. This one is called Shocking Berry, and then we have Sour Apple. They do run for $15.99 each, but don't forget to use my code SANDY10 and you get some money off. I did go on the website before doing this video, and my code does work for this collection. Um, next, we do have Tangy Tangerine, um, but I'm only going to be going into Shocking Berry and Sour Apple since I already have the orange look on my Instagram, so I did not play with this palette. Um, to prime my eyes, I'm going to go into the P. Louise Face Room. 02 and just to cut out my brow or clean up my brow as well as using this as my eye primer I'm going into the jaw cosmetics um, CC number three brush you guys already know that I'm obsessed with these brushes they have zero or CC number two three and I believe one um, and then I'm just going into this um, Luxie beauty brush I believe um, just to blend out the harsh lines. I will list all the brushes down below for you guys. Um, so like I said, I'm going to go into Shocking Berry. Um, and these are available um, right now. Um, just an FYI. And I'm going to go into this nice dark purple shade. And going into this really small detail brush from Morphe. I will link um, some Morphe brush sets that are super affordable. And they are actually really good brushes um, for very detailed looks. And I believe you get like three or four brushes for like $12. Such a good deal. <laughs> so I'm pretty much going to do a halo eye for today's eyeshadow looks. Um, so I'm going to be doing the Shocking Berry on one eye. And then the Sour Apple Palette on the other one but we're doing the same halo look just different colors um so i'm pretty much building up the purple and going up a little bit higher than my natural crease and then i just build up build up until i get the intensity that i am looking for and then i do switch brushes um to the morphe m506 um since it's very small and precise i love using this brush to blend out what we have already placed the reason why I went into a very small detailed brush is because I want the eyeshadow to be in a specific place. Um, and then I go into the M506 just to blend it out. I am going to apply that same eyeshadow towards the outer corner and then in the inner corner as well. Um, and you, of course, want to build up the intensity. I think I went in like two or three times um, to be able to get the color that I'm getting right now. Um, because if you just go in one or twice, it's not as dark as I want it to be. Um, so just an FYI if you guys want more darkness. I do add a couple of layers. Um, but so far so good. It's not patchy. There is some kickback in the palette, but overall the eyeshadows are performing very, very well on my eye. And I'm not seeing any patchiness. And I am overall though really obsessed with Cara Beauty. If you guys have never tried them out, definitely check out um, their palettes. Their eyeshadows have really, really good quality. Um, and then I'm going to go into the next shade over um, or before the purple palette and I'm just going to blend out the edges using my Morphe M506 and just build up the intensity as well so that way we can really tell that we used a second color and I love how they kept these palettes you know with like the same undertones and like we have a bunch of pinks purples in this particular palette and I'm you know really really appreciating that um, because sometimes it's really hard to find you know colors when you're using a purple i don't know if i'm explaining myself right um but i did go into the morphe m433 just to soften up those edges and then i'm going to go into a lighter pink as well just to blend out those harsh lines and add a third color um but i really love how they have like i was explaining earlier that they have pinks purples and it's all like in the pink and purple family um i really really love that um and then you guys, I'm going to go back into the Morphe M506 and pick up more of that dark purple shade. That way we don't lose the main shade that I want. Um, and then I just go back and forth and just kind of retouch everything up. I do go back into my jaw number three brush with the P. Louise eyeshadow base and I start to just carve out my crease but we're mainly going to be focusing this towards the center because we are creating more of a halo eye um so don't do a half cut crease or a full cut crease unless that is the look that you're going for um, but when it comes to halo eyes you just want to mainly keep it right in the center and then i'm going back into that luxie beauty brush just to blend out the inner and outer corners because 
I am gonna go back in with the purple eyeshadow because we don't want any harsh lines peeking through. Um, that's like one of my biggest pet peeves. I always, I always make sure that this is blended before I pack on the purple um, shade. Um, so going back into the Morphe M506 and just tapping the eyeshadow in the areas that um, needs to be covered. And then I'm going to go into this really nice shimmery shade, you guys, with my MAC um, 248 brush and just applying it in the center with absolutely no setting spray or glitter adhesive. This is straight from the palette. Like, like, like look how gorgeous this is. And then I'm going to go into that second shade that we did go into in the beginning, and I'm just going to apply it towards the inner and outer corners. And this really gives it more of a really pretty effect. Um, and I really, really love the outcome. Um, and it ties everything very well together. Um, and then I'm, I do go back into that purple shade again, the first um, dark shade, just to you know touch things up a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna move on to the next eye, and I'm gonna go into the sour apple palette, like I mentioned, and pretty much you guys doing the same thing. This dark, nice green shade, same thing. I'm gonna keep adding layers and layers, um, and I apply it um, in the crease. Move it back and forth towards my inner and outer corner and using the exact same tools um, or brushes that I did use for the other eye. I do have like a um, una servilleta that you know you use for the kitchen and I just kind of like clean off my brushes that way. I did run out of like brush cleaner. Um, there's this brush cleaner from Cinem Cinema something. So good, it dries your brushes right away and like you can use them again for your other eye look. Um, but I ran out, so I did just use a servilleta from the kitchen and it works the same. It took off the colors, um, but I, right here I am using a clean Morphe M433. I have so many of the M433s from Morphe because it's seriously my favorite brush, um, so I did use a clean one. Um, going into the next shade over and that one, again, we're going to use um, the Morphe M506 and just to blend out the edges, build up the intensity. Um, and then go back and forth between those two shades so we don't lose the main shade again. Um, and that, once again, the Morphe M433 that we used a little bit earlier, just to really smooth and you know blend out those harsh lines and get it ready for the, the third color that we're going to place, which is a really nice lime green. Super, super pretty. And we're gonna use that to also just blend out the harsh lines. And I feel like this really helped the eyeshadow look too to make it pop a little bit more um, and I'm just pretty much you know I keep building it up and then I do go back into the Morphe M433 and blend out um, the harsh lines and make it nice and soft and smooth just like we did with the purple side um, and then I'm just gonna go back and just to make sure that we don't um, you know lose the first shade that we place because we do you know I think the color is so beautiful and I don't want to lose it once we start creating the halo eye and same thing you guys, same brush, um, the same primer that we use, the P. Louise Rumor 02. And again, just blend out the inner and outer corners and then we're just going to go ahead and start to place the, the green shades that we used in the crease. Just pretty much do the exact same thing. <laughs> um, and then for the main center, you guys, of the halo eye, I'm going to go into the center color, which is this nice like yellow lime green color, super, super glittery. And I highly suggest that you use a glitter primer for this or glitter adhesive. So that way it does stick a little bit better. Um, and then I do go back into that lime green, sh green shade and just apply it like I did with the purple um, towards the inner and outer corner. But um, the reason why I went in with the yellow is because, I don't know, I felt like it would pop a lot more versus with the other shade, shimmery shade that, um, that I used with the purple one. Um, I just wanted to use yellow, but definitely recommend to use glitter adhesive. Going into the Chaos 24-7 um, Glide On Eye Pencil from Urban Decay, and I'm gonna run this towards my lower lash line and into my waterline. And of course, everything that we did use in the crease, we're gonna bring it down and start to blend out the lower lash line. Um, and you know, pretty much just smoke it out. And then on the right side, we're gonna go into the Charlotte Tilbury, because it's like the only purple shade that I have for an eyeliner. This is their Mesmerizing Maroon um, Matte Eyeliner, and I'm just gonna run it towards the lower lash line as well. And you know, same thing, what we did um, on the top in the crease of our eye, we're gonna just bring it down and really smoke it out. 
For the waterline, I'm going to go into the 9 to 5 eyeliner from Morphe. Even though this is for your lips, I do use it for my eyes and it does not burn. Um, it's really eye friendly. And you guys, that's pretty much it for today's eyeshadow tutorial using these two palettes from Cara Beauty. Don't forget to use my code SANDY10 to save some money. I love these palettes, so pigmented, and it really doesn't need an intro. Like, I'm obsessed with Cara Beauty. I definitely highly recommend you guys to check them out. I love you. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye!